In this video, we're going to go about making our chain for our chain drive. Um, I'm in a assembly document. I'm going to place a sketch on the front plane, and I'm going to grab my center point circle tool here. I'm going to make a 0.3 inch circle at that point. I'm also going to make at that same center point a 0.9 inch circle. Uh, I'm going to do those same circles on that center line over here of 0.9 and of 0.3. And I'm going to dimension these circles from the center points to the center points one inch. I'm going to grab my uh, Three point arc tool, and I'm going to just connect from here to here. And I'm going to grab my uh, constraints. I'm going to make this line tangent to both of my circles. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a construction line. down the center here, which allow me to mirror this line across. I'm going to click on my extrude, and I'm going to extrude this 0.1. So this is the first link in the portion. So I'm going to rename this link. I'm going to hide this part and I'm going to do my two pegs now. The first one, I'm going to go from the top view, placing that sketch. I'm going to use my uh, center point circle from the center point. I'm going to make this point uh, three inches, and I'm going to extrude this uh, one inch, and I'm going to rename this and call this my uh, long peg. I'm also going to color coat this by edit and assign or edit appearance and something that really sticks out and then I'm going to hide this I'm going to lay my sketch down again on that top plane I'm going to orientate myself I'm going to draw that same 0.3 inch circle but this time I'm only going to extrude this 0.8 inches I'm going to rename this my short peg. And again, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to edit the appearance of this. And I'm going to give this a distinct color as well. So believe it or not, I have all my parts done. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my assembly file. I'm going to insert uh, two of my links and two of my long pegs and the next thing I will do uh, in the next video is I'll show how to construct and constrain these and I will also issue a challenge as I'm learning this too uh, with linear patterns in assemblies to see if somebody can help and maybe even figure out something along with me. Uh, stay tuned for that next video and that challenge.